don't do these mistakes with your laptop if you're really concerned about your laptop life and battery welcome back everyone today in this video i will be explaining and sharing seven important points that you should keep in your mind that will be helping you to maintain and increase the battery and the laptop life so that instead of running it for three to four years it can run for five to six years without any kind of problem so without any delay let's quickly get started number one keep your laptop neat and clean now most of the time when you use your laptop there are a lot of dust in the surrounding that goes into your laptop due to which the cpu the fan they are not able to run properly and that affect overall performance of your computer of your laptop so if possible try to clean your laptop by your own self and if not then at least you can take the help of someone who you know who can help you in cleaning your computer even like at least in a four or five months you can visit any kind of local technician and ask them to just clean your computer a part of that whenever you are not using your laptop try to keep it in your bag so that it should be away from all kind of dust and all kind of particles and also make sure that you do not keep the laptop uh, close to the sunlight because too much of heat can also harm your computer even if you are inside your room and if you have too much of heat like if you are running any kind of room heater then make sure that it's not close to it because too much heat is not good for your laptop number two use your laptop carefully now i have seen many people while opening and closing their laptop they use it so roughly that it directly affect the hinges of the laptop that can break your hinges or maybe they can make it looser okay so what you have to do it's very simple whenever you use it gently open it and gently close it so that it should not affect the hinges because even the hinges are very costly and you have to spend a lot of money in spending it number three do not push any kind of external device forcefully i've seen people like sometime in a hurry that they try to insert any kind of external device like usb in a wrong way and sometime if it doesn't go up they put a lot of pressure okay so make sure that you check that whether you are connecting and inserting the usb or any kind of external device properly or not do not forcefully do it because it can affect your part it can affect your port and due to which you will have to either replace it or you have to spend some money by going to the local technician so avoid these mistakes and also keep in mind that whenever you are not using usb when you have to take it out or you have to plug out any kind of external device first eject out from the computer and then take it out safely that is the best and the recommended way so that it should be not affecting your computer and even your external device and now next is the mistake that majority of the people do even i used to do it like charging the laptop all the time so what happened that people go and charge the laptop and if it goes to 70 or 80 percent they plug it out and again after using for some time when they see that it's around like 40 percent to 30 percent they charge it again so that's not recommended always try to charge your laptop fully to 100 percent then enjoy it and when it goes very low like 10 percent 5 percent or 15 percent then only reconnect your charger that will be increasing the battery performance and the battery life and additionally what else i would recommend you the next time when you connect your laptop to the charger make sure you connect your charger first to your laptop and then to the power port okay because most of the people i have seen they just plug in the power port and then they connect the charger to their laptop you don't have to do that first you need to connect the adapter to your laptop and then connect to the power port and then you can turn it on and now let's move to the next point where i would recommend that please avoid installing a lot of application and software on your computer now especially the malicious and any kind of unwanted application when you are putting too much of application and too much of software on a computer of course it's putting a lot of load on your cpu on your ram so it's always recommended that try to install the only software and application that you need and once you don't use it you can go ahead and uninstall it so keep this in habit only enjoy the application that you need and now the last thing that you need to avoid is whenever you are not using your computer kindly go ahead and shut it down 
Now, most of the people I have seen, even they are not using their laptop, they do not shut it down, they keep it as it is. I would also recommend do the same for your PC and both for your laptop. So why I'm recommending you this? Because when you keep your computer on, still it runs in the background and it runs the resources, even it eat your battery. So of course, somewhere your battery life will be reduced and the performance will be also affected. So if you want to increase the battery life and you want that your computer should give you the best performance so whenever you are not using it kindly go ahead and shut it down even the another best part is if you keep shutting down the computer if there is any kind of latest windows update it will automatically update it it will let you know so that your computer should be up to date so that's all guys for today these are the things that you have to keep in your mind you need to avoid to maintain the life of your computer of your laptop so that you can get the best battery backup and the best life of your laptop hopefully you will enjoy this video and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye